Hi there, my name's Siobhan and I'm doing a review for Elite Pilates and Yoga Training. Sounded like I farted then, didn't it? I'm on a wicker chair. Anyway, and I'm doing a review and testimonial, if you like, for um, Tanya and Paul Foy, who are the directors and teachers of Elite Pilates and Yoga Training. I'm choosing to do a yoga teacher training. It is November 2019 and I will graduate in March 2020. Um, I was an estate agent in a previous life and earlier this year I decided to stop estate agency and stop a full-time job to create space in my life to allow for some positive and personal change, personal development and spiritual development. I've personally been on a spiritual um, private individual path for um, many years, really, really accelerated this year by allowing myself to have the space to almost do nothing. One morning, eight weeks ago, I woke up really inspired, not coming from a traditional yoga practice, and I haven't been to lots of classes, and I haven't done yoga training before, and I've had a smattering of, you know, yoga class experiences probably in the last decade. Um, but nothing consistent. So it wasn't that I wanted to or deepen an already existing practice, but I, I just felt inclined to do it. I felt completely inspired to just explore that as an opportunity. I do do Kundalini. It's a kind of homegrown Kundalini at home, which is a very different practice. But that has kept me in a spiritual path and it's also kept me sober as well. I'm in my 50s and I was looking for change. So wake up one morning go on the internet, look and see in the southwest, which is where I live, southwest of England, what yoga opportunities there are. And I didn't actually have to look that far. Just one stood out a mile for me. It was this elite yoga and Pilates training. And um, I made an appointment, made some contact, made, made some contact with Tanya, one of the director owners and one of the um, lead teachers. And um, met with her and just had an extraordinary good feeling about the studio, about her and about the course. I like the idea that the length of course was, you know, five months. I know you can go off and study yoga more intensively in a shorter period of time. The way that I learn is slowly. I'm a tortoise, I'm not a hare and I love to create really strong foundations and this course is about creating really strong foundations. It's about being the best practitioner that you can possibly be so that you can help others better their practice and that to me is a really wholesome and positive intention behind a course. It isn't competitive, it isn't about doing the biggest most dynamic poses, it isn't about you know um, being um, you know superficial about it. There's lots and lots of levels to the teaching so there's a spiritual dimension, there's a historical and the philosophy philosophical dimension that Paul um, in particular disseminates really well uh, and you're allowed to go as far and as deep as you want to which is really important. Now I like going deep because uh, that's the journey that I was on before the yoga so my journey with yoga is a bit topsy-turvy. The, the yoga has come second to the spiritual development so I'm working principally on healing myself, my chakras, understanding the philosophy of yoga, understanding how that works with my own current um, uh, studies. I'm a student of A Course in Miracles and um, it's really, really powerful and empowering. So there's, you know, great emphasis on actually being a good teacher, not just being a good student. And I really like the distinction that's made. Tanya and Paul are funny and inclusive and generous and kind and loving and they embody what they teach and there would be a real dissonance and a mismatch if they didn't and I felt that energy and I felt that intention and I felt that kind of you know spirit within them you know it's a purely human kind of level really really nice people who want people to do the best that they can for them and then to go on and help other students. So I really like that. So far it's identified some things in me that have needed healing. Yoga is a really powerful tool. It's not just a you know, physical um, fitness exercise. It, you know, there's a lot of things going on 
um, obviously with the breath as well and the postures and all the things that are you know linked with your understanding of the kind of um, mechanics of the body but also at kind of spiritual level as well and so I work with chakras and I really like that part of my journey because it's showing me areas that I am willing and open to heal. So there's willingness, there's love, there's an open heartedness, there's fun, there's inclusiveness, there's no competition. Uh, really nice thing is that Tanya um, meets you. And so there's kind of mutual respect of, you know, let's find out what we're both like before we spend a lot of time together and are in this environment together. And um, yeah, just fabulous. I mean, and it's funny. I mean, you know, what's not to like? Funny, deep, interesting, educational, um, heart opening, mind opening, increases your well being and um, just a really delightful um, place to be. And uh, as I say, I particularly like the fact that there is a kind of protracted learning period so that you can really deepen the foundations for yourself because that's really important to me as a potential teacher of yoga, to have a foundation that is so um, strong that I know how to support others develop their own foundation. At the end of the day, it is a solitary practice. What happens on the mat, I say, stays on the mat. And um, that's between you, yourself, your inner self, if you like, and the mat. And they really help create an environment where you can deepen and develop that relationship. So do it if you're thinking about it. Just bloody do it. Okay, lots of love. Maybe see you around. Bye.